What's up, Leo? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with a timeless message for what's coming towards you. We just want to overall get a general spread as it pertains to your love, your finances, and career, um, what's coming towards you, what you can expect, okay? So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. And this is a timeless message, okay? Holy Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides of the highest white light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for the sign of Leo. As it pertains to this general message and what they need to know about what's coming towards them, what they can expect, what's coming towards them in their career sector, love sector, finances. Y'all got supportive people around y'all. Okay, you could have a prominent male and a prominent female energy that's very supportive that's around you right now, Leo. Okay, whoever this is, it's like this person or people, they really are like rooting uh, rooting for you when it comes down to your creative endeavor, okay? Because they definitely do see, you know, what it is that you have to offer. They see the light, they see the greatness, and it's like these can be people or a person that's really trying to help shine some type of light on your talent okay that's what i'm getting here okay some of you guys can be photographers musicians artists and artists in many different ways because there's so many different types of artists digital artists visual artists culinary artists okay so whoever this is it's like this person really believe in your craft okay if you're feminine energy this definitely can be a male around you okay you guys are tapped into your higher self and y'all definitely on the right path whatever it is that you guys are doing is definitely of your highest good it's definitely where spirit is trying to lead you okay so once again with you being in your higher self and y'all having like this heart wide open like you guys have a golden heart okay and so you guys definitely are due for some type of breakthrough because it's like whatever you doing it's like going to have some type of positive effect or impact on other individuals through your story your testimony and what it is that you had to overcome okay so you could be feeling you know you can really be feeling like you are <sighs> First of all, your mind could be stuck on something that you didn't get, okay? So it could have been something in the past where it's like you didn't reach a milestone or you feel like by this time you should be reaching some type of milestone in your career and you're not. I feel like you got to let go of the outcome of something that happened in the past, okay, here? Because I'm getting that it could have been a masculine energy that was just emotionally void or trying to play on your emotions when it comes down to something. That's even if y'all had somebody in y'all life romantically and this person wasn't supportive. I feel like they being replaced by somebody that is, especially if this is a counterpart or um, some type of support system or a platonic friend that's of the opposite sex. This person could actually have interest in you outside of that. All right, but I feel like you guys need to be very selective on who y'all have in y'all immediate space right now because, you know, you guys, y'all light shines. It shines to those that deserve to be around it, but it also shines to individuals with hidden motives, okay? People that definitely have their energy veiled and they know how to shape shift to the point where they can gain your trust and have you believing through your own discernment that they are a trustworthy individual when they truly not. They mirror what it is that you want, what you like, your character, and everything else, okay? And these it could be these type of individuals that want to see you stuck even though you're moving forward. All right, so. Okay, Leo, I'm getting right now that now is the time, most of all, to just keep shining your light, okay? With this sacred temple, it's like keep your mind clear of negative energies. And right now, it could be a good time for you to eat really clean, work out, get as much nature and sunlight as you possibly can, stay grounded, stay focused. And like I said, be exclusive with your energy. Only allow certain individuals around you because as you elevating out of a situation where it was hard to let certain people, things, and disappointments from your past go, I feel like, again, you know, it could definitely be people that are trying to keep you stuck in that mindset because they know that it causes stagnancy in your life. Okay, so let's see. I feel like I want to pull a couple from this deck before we start with the tarot. But let's just see what's coming in, y'all.
Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. What else do we, does it, why well, was I about to say what we need to know for Leo, but what else is it that Leo needs to know for this timeless message of what's coming towards them? Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, working too hard in reverse. So you guys need to relax a little bit. Y'all could be overworking, overthinking, you know, and it could be putting y'all in a, a bad mood or whatever the case is. A lot of you could have been feeling like y'all hard work is not yielding the results. But again, I do feel like it had to, a lot to do with the company that you was keeping. Yeah, holding on way too tight. All right, so what it is that you need to do is loosen up your grip, Leo. Okay, try not to have a need for so much control just kind of like um exercise a little bit of detachment it's like i planted my seeds and now i have faith that what's going to yield from the seeds that i planted is harvest that's great and abundant okay so yeah i am getting that all right try not to use like coping mechanisms to basically like uh get your mind off of it but use like healthier healthier tools in order to get your mind off of it okay so i feel like a lot of you guys have multiple facets to you so if it's one area that you kind of focused on you know whenever you start to feel yourself get bogged down with negative thoughts and you become a prisoner of your own mind then i feel like you should pick up that pen and write or you should pick up that brush and start stroking paint go for that walk you know spend time with your pets animals children you know go out have a, a good a nice lunch with your friends do something that expresses who you are things that you like to do and that puts you in that positive uplifted mood to restore whatever previous energy you was in okay because it's natural okay whenever we striving for certain things we gonna have our days where we feel really good and confident about what it is that we are doing and then we gonna have days where we have doubts but doubts equal delays guys that's one of the ways that we can get in our own way and that's one of the ways that we can like become our own worst enemy is our thoughts okay yeah i feel like you could be thinking about like learning something new or whatever the case is but spirit is just saying you know basically wherever whatever road you on is the right road okay yeah i definitely feel like you got three people at least three people that's trying to like gather up and collaborate some kind of way against you okay and we hopefully will find out through tarot who these people are and what it is what te techniques or tactics they're using to try to stop you from moving forward but we know ways we definitely know ways you know you know so let's see why is creative endeavors and new supportive connections here why is creative endeavors and new supportive connections here for leo yeah i'm telling y'all y'all meant to be in this, a star y'all meant to be in a public light y'all in empress energy guys it's something that's very important getting ready to come to play for you and it's like something that you just gotta leave y'all can have somebody very important around y'all that's a leo or y'all can have that in y'all moon rising venus or north node okay but with the empress and the justice coming up here very heavy libra energy and i definitely do feel like you guys are getting ready to give birth to a beautiful idea that's gonna lead y'all to victory here okay it's time for things to go in y'all favor so i feel like even if you had a season where things was going other people way where they was able to encant over your life or project energy over your life and it almost seemed like everything they wanted or they said came to fruition rather you you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is the time where your manifestations are more powerful. And that's what you should be tapped into because you guys truly are held in high honor by a lot of people. And I feel like that's what y'all need to focus on. Focus on those around you that do like honor the light that you're in and they look up to you. That's who you have to put your main focus and that's who you have to stay in a certain energy for, okay? Because it's like y'all got to be looked, you know, y'all got to look at it like, People are influenced by you, and that doesn't mean that you're not allowed to be human and feel different emotions, but hold on, y'all. <clears throat> I just got right back on camera and sneezed again. My bad. So we're just going to leave it there. My bad, y'all. But ugh, whenever I start to get a lot of downloads and they are coming in an overload for you guys, then it's like either my nose tickle, itch, or I be sneezing, okay? So let's see what else. 
Yeah, y'all. So my thing is, if you guys were in the energy where you wasn't getting ready to receive harvest, there's a lot of things that could be in reverse here. But you guys are in a victorious season. So all y'all got to do is match y'all mindset to what's currently going on or coming in for you, okay? And keep that in mind that you are honoring the path. You are following your intuition. You are connected to your higher self. Yeah. You are being viewed as creative, lighthearted, youthful. You get what I'm saying? Full of beautiful ideas. And you got something to celebrate, guys. Okay? With the three of cups here. It's like you got things to celebrate. And you got people that are clapping for you. No matter how many people come against you, you got your, you know, your crew, your tribe, whatever, that really do support you. And they really genuinely are looking forward to, yeah, see, y'all got a jealous, y'all, so y'all got a masculine that's supportive, and then y'all got a masculine that's jealous around y'all. And I feel like this person haven't done enough. This person hasn't done enough to yield positive results in their life, but yet they looking at you, concentrating on you, and hoping the worst for you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. This person is codependent on you somehow. So maybe you used to share assets with this person, but you the more successful one, whether you the woman or the man here. Yeah, this could be a Leo. Another Leo? Okay. Or this person is trying to weaken your defenses in some kind of way because they see you got a new beginning. I feel like nothing happening in this person's life, but it's because they lazy and they got the spirit of jealousy over them, okay? And it's like when you in that energy... Nothing good can come to you because it's what you put out, you get back. Okay, so instead of this person receiving, you know, the supportive connections that you receive and possibly because you support others, when it's their turn, this person is always in the energy of needing other people. But it's because when it's somebody's time to shine, this person steadily focused on trying to dim their light instead. Okay, so you got that type of energy that's kind of lurking in the shadows with hidden hidden intentions and you got to be careful because it's like this person trying to block you from moving forward okay very jealous masculine energy so i mean this can even be an old employer an ex-boyfriend a baby daddy but this is just somebody that's definitely in the energy where they could have possibly thought they was gonna ride your coattail or they could have been doubting you okay they could have been telling you that you wasn't gonna make it this far and now that they see you making it this far they could be projecting a lot of energy here okay so let's see <sighs> this one of those people like y'all don't see y'all not traditionally from the same background or something to that extent i feel like this person feels like a traditional woman shouldn't be so boisterous or um strong and powerful and independent it's like that's why this person wants you to be codependent they used to you being weak for them and i feel like they still weak for you in that way okay or this person thought they was gonna break you down in some kind of way but essentially it's because this person wants you to depend on them why is the higher self and honoring the path here yeah, y'all connected to spirit in the universe greatly. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Action is happening in y'all life. King of Cups, that's the person that's supporting you. So you got a male here. Like I said before, this is a very healing vibe, masculine. This person definitely do got your back. I feel like they know what you've been through with this other King of Wands in reverse. And it's like they trying to help get the ball rolling because this person is the person that betrayed you. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all, but I pulled another spread. I just didn't like, I don't know. I, I don't know what I didn't like about it, but I definitely felt intuitively to start over, okay? But it was a betrayal in y'all recent past is what I'm getting here, okay? I feel like this King of Cups is trying to help get the ball rolling. I feel like this person... So, this could be somebody like, I don't know, this could be like mentee, mentor type energy. So, I don't know, this person is like mentoring you, um, investing in you in some kind of way, or if this person is a coach or a therapist, some type of diplomat in your life, like this person truly supports you. I feel like they're willing to, you know, put what it, you know, put what it is that they do have, whether that's knowledge, a little bit of funding, whatever the case is, to push you forward. So, even though you got somebody that, it should be in a rear view, but they still trying to hang on and be relevant in your current day. Um, like lurking in the background with hidden intentions. You got somebody here with genuine intentions as well. Higher self and honoring the path. And this person is in touch with their higher self and they are a part of your path. I feel like this person is meant to bask in happiness and success with you. 
And I don't feel like it's on no opportunist shit. It's like this person being genuine, okay? Higher self, honoring the path. Yeah. King of Swords. Damn, y'all got a lot of masculine energies around y'all. Somebody just not letting go, not letting go of something. It's like... Mm -hmm. Y'all definitely not talking to this insincere individual here. The Hermit in Reverse. You outgrew that situation, especially if y'all had a family or wanted a family with this person. Y'all outgrew this person because this person is one of the individuals that kept y'all stuck. They could have projected so much doubt passive aggressively onto you or they just didn't come off as very supportive to you guys, Leo. And that's why y'all choosing not to have this person in y'all space. And that's what I mean by sacred temple, okay? It's like y'all home, y'all energy, y'all body. It's like y'all staying away from anybody that can lower y'all frequency. But as you guys are trying to let go of people, people are trying to hold on to you. Okay, y'all got a couple people in y'all life, honestly. Y'all got somebody that give really great advice here. This person is helping you to tap more into your logic. But this can be the same person here. So the person that's supporting you, this person can be very loving, but they also can be very wise, okay? And they could be offering you the support that you need to move forward. <sighs> One second. Okay, so let's get into it. Why is this justice here? all this sleeper energy yeah y'all so yeah focus on y'all supportive connections because i feel like those are the people that fuel you with the hope the faith and they keep you in alignment with your higher self okay this other person the only thing they do is bring you down they see you moving forward and successfully and victoriously without them and this is one of them people that just need to be needed okay unexpected income there you go Okay, so for some of you, this ain't happening until Libra season. That's one thing I have to be real about, okay? Unless y'all got that as a prominent placement, then it may not be happening until Libra season. Yes. Okay, false-ass person, didn't I tell y'all? I feel like this is that king of wands. This person want to be in your immediate space because they see you loosening the grips of the reins that they had over you. Yeah, they see you moving on. A lot of you guys are upgrading a lot of things in y'all life, whether it's y'all home, y'all car, whatever the case is. Some of y'all may be having to travel for this creative endeavor. Okay, so why is the Six of Wands here? Mm, y'all, oh my gosh. Y'all signing a new contract. <laughs> so if y'all not in a relationship already and y'all single, then this is uh, speaking strictly to uh financial contracts because contracts and stuff like that sometimes is like a marriage especially when it's for like two and three years okay so keep that in mind here but for some of you like i said this person that's supporting you this person that's invested in you this person that is willing to pull strings to get you ahead or you know tell you the ins and outs and basically lead you in the right direction that person is coming into your life i feel like you have nothing to be worried about this person is very protective over your energy. So this is somebody that will stand up and defend you, okay? So if this person is doing something, whether it's energetically or they're just a manipulative person and they know that their energy and the way that they operate holds you back from success, it's like this person is here to protect and ward that person off, okay? Whether they know it or not, I feel like it's natural instinct because this person really care about you, okay? So why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yes, oh my God, somebody is willing to invest in your growth, man. And this is a friend. For some of you, this is somebody that you mostly talk to online. They like, no, they trying to help you put it into a cycle where you wasn't yielding the results that you wanted. You just wasn't getting what you wanted. And whoever this is, they care and they love you enough. For some of you, this is platonic. Others of you, it's definitely romantic, okay? And if it is romantic, I feel like this individual has their own. Like this person is definitely also a creative because I feel like whatever it is that they can guide you in or they invest in it when it comes down to you, they see that raw and true passion within you because they have an element of that within themselves. Even if you guys have different talents, they know talent when they see it, okay? Occupation in reverse, yeah. 
So once again, like, again, if y'all was expecting something right now, it might not be coming through. But I feel like the breakthrough could be happening by October. Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you. Because y'all do have something to celebrate. But it's like somebody that's jealous here. We got the King of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. See, this person feel like they were supposed to bask in this happiness with you, Leo. They really feel entitled. If they contributed to your business or something in the past before y'all broke up or before you stopped being friends with them, I feel like they may try to take you to court in some kind of way. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they trying to get a piece of the pie by any means necessary. Four of Swords, wealthy male, I'm telling you. <laughs> but y'all got somebody in y'all life that's much more powerful than this peon. I'm sorry. You know, not trying to call no names, but it's like you got somebody here that's trying to drudge up the past in a negative way. They trying to claim any piece of your fortune in any way that they can. And it's just really ugly. It's really ugly. Why is the King of Swords here? Let's get one more for the King of Swords. You could be older than this King of Swords, but look really young, so maybe it don't appear. King of Swords. Ooh. A king, the King of Swords is the person that's trying to cut you down. This person could have enlisted some type of help as well. So you only got one person here that's on your side. The other two men that's on the board, I feel like one knows you personally and the other person is just some, it could be this person's attorney. They could be trying to see how they can sue you, okay? This person feel like if they not going to be in your life gaining with you, then they going to try to gain access to some type of investment that they made with you in the past. Even if it was like y'all in a relationship so this person invested in your business and it was supposed to be a loan or, you know, maybe it was supposed to be a gift, but they're going to claim it was a loan. It's something to that extent. So, yeah, they enlisted help because they got some type of like attorney, wise counsel or, some, wise counsel or something here. So y'all might even be receiving some type of like. What is it called? Like y'all might be. uh getting subpoenaed or something like that or being served with some court papers y'all this person fake as hell they fake as hell they just can't let you be great and i'm getting the energy that this person might already have like another woman in their life if not this person is uh embodying very much toxic femininity and masculinity like, they are really embodying both sides, but just jealous and low vibrational, y'all. It's crazy. Okay, let's see. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, this person see you passionately pursuing something. And they want you to not get it, okay? They want you in this poverty energy. They want to drain you with everything that you have because you got away. So, this definitely sounds like a narcissistic energy. Death in reverse. Oh my God. I'm telling y'all, this is a jealous ex. This came in reverse. Could you cut this person out? Oh, I'm telling you. This go, this person gonna try to take you to court for something. I feel like you're not really concerned. You might feel like they don't have a case. Yeah, this person moved on. And then they realize that you're the one that's the gift. You're the one that holds the power to, like, some type of sudden wealth. That's what they realize realizing now, okay? This person could have already had a child with somebody else. Or they could have a daughter with you, okay? But this is a risk that this person is willing to take. You feel like they ain't got no case. They don't. Okay, y'all, so... Leo, this is a lot because I feel almost like I feel almost like something that you wanted right now is not going to happen until October. Okay? 
Libra season. Because I'm also getting three months here. It's like in three months, you're going to be in, celebrate, like in a celebratory energy. And I feel like, well, we in July now, August, September, October. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. It might not be till October, honestly. But it's going to be something big. And it's bringing certain wealth. So it's like you kind of got to stay, stay in this energy where, you know, you hopeful and you grateful for any and everything. Especially things that money can't buy, like just being waking up, just being blessed with the gifts that you do have to be able to yield you prosperity, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you guys, y'all. This message is timeless. Not all the else is in the same energy, on the same timeline, doing the same inner work. So if you know you're not doing the inner work to lead to this, then of course, this might not be for you, okay? So um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.